All right, what's going on? Go video, just in time flipping. Yeah, here we are. We got the work shirt on. You know, we're down in the eBay store. Yeah, we're doing eBay things. So here we are. We're making an eBay video. It's going to pertain to a buyer. Uh, he's buying some car emblems. He has the car emblems right here. You know, it's a decent little sale. Sometimes you get a fight for these things, you know. Um, but sometimes you don't, you know. You just, I don't know. I don't have returns, okay? Now, this, this, look at my store. You think I want to have returns on any of this stuff? No. All right, so I don't have returns, okay? That's just the way I operate. Everyone has a different operation. Um, I try to hold no liability in anything. So, my stuff is kind of like, 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 you get in a truck. It's a truck. I'm going to take a photo of it, and that's what you're going to get. Or, I just sold these. This is two, two pairing knives. That's what they are, all right? The photos dictate kind of what they are. Then I have my description, you know? If I want to disclose anything, you're better off disclosing as much as you can, okay? So, with these, here's my disclosure. I mean... Pretty basic. Even when I called eBay, I let them know. Yeah, I clicked new, which I probably shouldn't have. And I didn't really know that I did. I mean, the description cl clearly states that they're used. And the photos dictate that they're clearly used. So, I mean, that was a clerical error on my end. So, I let them know that. So, basically, here's what happened. Let's see. Two minutes into that. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't even into the sale yet? <laughs> you ain't even in the story yet. Alright, anyway. Let's get to the story. So the guy comes in. Um, he's building a truck. And basically, in a nutshell, he's not building the truck where he's located. He's building the truck somewhere else. So he asked me to drop ship them. I said, he needs to go into eBay, change his address and um buy them through the address that he wants me to deliver them to um and i even told lobster after the sale got through i was like i'm gonna make a box right now and put them in there i'm gonna ship them a day later but i'm gonna put them in a box and generate a label and um do that so that he can change his address back and uh kind of keep conducting his business so i was actually working with the drop shipper, you know, I was, you know, working with them, like, you know, so you could still go like buy more drop shippable crap. <laughs> um, you're probably better off not working with the drop shipper. Let me tell you, it just only confuses things and complicates things. I was just being nice. Um, it sounded like he needed the part. It's a part particular. It's an emblem to a truck particular to a year, particular to a model, particular to a size. The photos dictate the condition. So he buys them, changes his dress, buys them. I packed them, shipped them a day later. Well, he got them and now he wants to return them. So these are some of the messages gone back and forth. Um, over here and I'll explain kind of what happened so he says he wants to return them that they, they don't fit they're not he says he needed a Scottsdale 30 these are clearly a, a Scottsdale 10 um, they're clearly 10 inch because I stated that they're 10 inch um, he tries saying that they're not OEM but I mean I don't have room for a, a, um, a laser printing machine thing. I don't have one of those. So um, I didn't make it. Um, I'm pretty sure it was off an original truck. Uh, it's not a repop. It's pretty patinaed. Uh, I don't know about that. So he, he he's stating that 
he, he doesn't need this pot. It's the wrong pot. It's the wrong size. It's the wrong model. It's the wrong everything. So, but he wasn't really like saying it like clearly. So I said to him, tell me clearly, what the hell are you trying to say? That you ordered the wrong pot? And he's like, yeah, he ordered the wrong pot. <laughs> so I gave him this message. All right. Um, just stomach's growling. Hungry. All right. You ordered the wrong pot. That's fine. I'll take the return. That's fine. I clearly do not have returns. I do not have to take the return. You clearly said that you ordered the wrong pot, the wrong size, for the wrong model truck that you're building, and you want a return. And I said, yeah. But when I said, yeah, I said, you have to pay for the shipping. And if you click it in any other way, shape or form of that, your it's items not described is what it is supposed to be. Then, I mean, I'm going to deny that like, nope, because you clearly ordered the wrong pot. Whether or not whatever happened beforehand, but originally you told me that you ordered the wrong pot, all right? And then after I started talking about you have to return the item and ship it back to me on your, on your dime, that's when you start all going into the mode of like, oh, wait, it wasn't described as it was supposed to be. He's like, the one that's on the truck now is in better condition than the ones that I'm buying off of you. I'm like, well, then why the hell are you buying them? What's wrong with you? <laughs> These are made for repurposing. The guy's going to refinish them. Uh, de de paint them. de everything them and redo them into mint condition. That's what they're for. Unless if you're building a patina truck that you don't care about what it exactly looks like and it's a, just a patina work Scottsdale truck, just a worker truck, and you want the emblem on it. I mean, they're a hundred bucks, 50 bucks a side. I don't know. I got kind of frustrated, so I called eBay. I let them know what's going on. I'm like, you know, I went through the whole spiel, everything I just told you. So this is where we're at. <laughs> so I decided to make the video because I found it ridiculous that the order of progression, just the way it was and how he was just like trying to cover his ass every time. It's like, <laughs> don't pay to work with the drop shipper. Unless if they have a very, very streamlined drop shipping technique. Like, like you don't have to explain to change the address to them or anything like that. Like, they just do it and they know how to do it. And they change it back after, you know, like they keep track of it. Well, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. And I'll uh, keep you updated with uh, whatever happens after that. Um, definitely some gray areas that can happen after that. And uh, we'll get into the next video with the same type of topics. <laughs> we'll be back. If you like that kind of, if you like that kind of video, we'll come back. We'll talk about some of the other scenarios that I've been into. So I'll just kind of like log them and then, uh, you know, give you guys some food for thought on how to um, better conduct your businesses and uh, just have better practices in general and better communication skills with your buyers and stuff like that so it only it's only going to help <clears throat> ebay's like us as like sellers and making it work better all right peace have a good day